Okay, very good day everyone. Okay, today I'm going to prepare a short video for my Form 4 students. Okay, after so long that I have stopped uh, prepared for the video, especially for Form 4 students, now I'm back. So stay tuned guys. Alright. So this time around, I will start with Unit 6, Time Out, okay, focusing on the language awareness, uh, which is uh, passive voice. As for the other skill, which is reading, I already shared the uh, online class with my Form 4 students a few days back. And as usual, I would love to share with you the learning objective for our lesson today. Alright, firstly, uh, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to make sentences in passive voice, identify direct and indirect objects in a sentence, convert from active voice to passive voice, rewrite sentences using the passive voice by starting the sentence with the given word, and also sentences using passive voice okay as you can see from the screen I would love to refresh the simple sentences written in active and passive voice okay for example active sentence I drank two cups of coffee all right in this sentence I is the subject Drank is the verb and the object is two cups of coffee. But if you want to write in passive sentence, it will be the other way around. Okay. For example, two cups of coffee were drunk by me. Okay, now the subject in the sentence is two cups of coffee. Right, the verb will still remain uh, were drunk by me is actually now becomes an agent. Okay, so what you have to know that we use the passive voice is to emphasize the action rather than who or what is responsible for it. So the passive voice usually is formed with the verb be. The verb be means that is, are, was, or were in the appropriate form and the past participle of the verb of the sentence. Okay, the person who causes or carries out the action is called an agent and is preceded by the preposition by. Okay. We usually omit the agent, alright? Usually, we don't put the agent in some uh, situations, alright? For example, when the action interests us more than the agent. Next one, when we do not know who is the agent or when it is easy to figure out who the agent is. Okay, for example, the bank was robbed. Okay, of course, you know that the bank uh, was robbed, but then you did not put the agent, meaning that uh, by someone, you know by someone, but you are not very sure who is that person. Alright, next will be, alright, this one is just a pre lesson. Okay, I have a few sentences listed there. You may try out to identify passive sentences in this exercise. So the first sentence is, uh, I visited my grandparents yesterday. The letter was sent two days ago. Kate phoned her friend. Team was taken to the zoo yesterday. The plants are watered every day. We like to watch television. The children are told not to play there. They will attend the lectures on history. And 
this problem is discussed by the students and finally a new shop will be opened in three days so from those sentences are you able to identify which one is the passive voice all right let's check it out okay one of the sentences of passive voice in this exercise is all right of course you can see clearly the first sentence is the active voice okay because we know uh, i is the subject visited is the verb and my grandparents is becoming an object so if you want to change to uh, what we call that to passive voice it will be sound like my grandparents okay my grandparents were visited by me okay so in these exercises we can notice that uh, those sentences in passives are sentence number two the letter was sent two days ago surat itu dihantar dua hari yang lalu Alright, the second one, sentence number four. Team was taken to the zoo yesterday. Team dibawa ke zoo semalam. Next, sentence number five. The plants are watered every day. Okay, means that uh, tumbuh-tumbuhan itu disiram air setiap hari. Alright, next one is the children are told not to play dead. Alright, anak-anak itu diberitahu supaya tidak bermain di situ. Next one, this problem is discussed by the student. Okay, uh, it means that masalah itu dibincangkan oleh pelajar-pelajar. Next one, a new shop will be open in three days. Or in Malay is, kedai baru akan dibuka tiga hari lagi. So those uh, sentences that I mentioned are passive voice sentences. Right now, right, uh, let's refer your textbook okay uh, you may take your textbook okay we have to read the notes together so that you have uh, you can understand it well okay let's read the example of the passive voice in your grammar uh, text sorry in your grammar exercise there Passive voice one. Okay, number one. The students at this school are taught parkour by Mr. Simmons on Thursday afternoon. Number two. The skate park won't be completed by the summer holidays. Number three. The fire had been put out by the firefighters by the time we arrived home. And last one. Strong trainers should be what while free running. So you must focus to the agent in the first and third example. Okay, uh, example there. How do you know the agent when you can simply notice the person who doing that? Alright, example. First sentence by Mr. Simmons, and the third sentence is of course by firefighters so there are reasons why in some sentences an agent is used and in others the agents are not used okay ada sebab uh, sesetengah ayat passive tu ada agent yang, di, uh, yang dinyatakan but then in some cases in some sentences there is no agent mentioned there right the answer is simple 
because of uh, we know who it is okay because awak tahu uh, kerana awak tahu siapa yang melakukan then you can simply put the agent however for sentence for example number 4 no agent is included because you do not know or it is unknown agent or maybe unimportant or maybe we can say that easy to figure out all right next one is verbs with two objects as you can see clearly from your textbook as well all right active voice they should wait the best place for free running next they showed the best place for free running to wait. So, uh, in this active voice, under the verb with two objects heading. So, there are two objects there. The first one is wait. And the other one is the best place for running. So, please take that uh, certain verbs for example like show give offer uh, send and etc you need to take two objects in the active voice but in some cases there are also direct and indirect object for example in that sentence weight becoming an indirect object then the best place for free running becoming uh, the direct objects so students you must know that the usual word order in sentences with verbs that takes two objects okay awak kena tahu sesunat when there is the sentence have two object and the two object is subject plus verb plus indirect object plus direct object okay so you may compare uh, do your own comparison between the first sentence of the active voice to the second sentence of the active voice okay the word order is different so it's not ayat dia but the meaning is the same okay tapi maksud dia sama and please note that plus verb plus direct object plus two or four plus indirect object so now let's read the two examples in the passive voice and the verbs with two objects okay Wayne was shown the best place for free running or the best place for free running was shown to, to wait so when a sentence in active voice has two objects, both objects can be used as subjects of the verbs in the passive voice. Okay, the first example is more common. Alright, more common, maksudnya dah menjadi kebiasaan, you use the first one. Alright, the indirect object in the active voice becomes the subjects of the verb in the passive voice that. Okay. Uh, next other example you can refer to your textbook as well there is additional note on page 165 okay next one would be okay this is the practice that you have to do on your own okay what you have to do is identify the examples of the passive voice in your previous reading text on page 82. Okay, remember, we deal with the text about parkour or free running, the urban playground. So, you can identify there are quite a number of passive sentences. 
sentences in the text. Okay, for example, you may refer to the first paragraph. If I'm not mistaken, first paragraph. Okay, you can see clearly the word is. The sentence is. Um, this pot was created. So, can it be the chapter? So, it is one of the examples of passive voice. Other than that is, in paragraph 2, you can see the sentence is, A documentary was broadcast. Documentary di tayangkan. Alright, the rest of the passive voice will be to your wood and later show it to your English teachers so that your English teachers could identify whether you are able to choose the correct sentences or not. Okay, now is the time for you to understand or at least to get familiar the basic structure that you must remember when you want to construct passive voice. When the sentence is in present, Sense, right, meaning to say that bila ayat aktif dia berada dalam keadaan present tense so when you want to convert or you want to change into passive sentence make sure the verb will remain in present as well okay for example you can see from the screen that present simple I make a cake so when you want to change it if a cake is made okay so by me I write in bracket because it is actually uh, optional you can put or not it's up to you all right now let's start writing the sentences using the passive voice all right you should refer to your textbook as well, page 83. Okay. Here are those sentences. You have to write in passive voice. Okay. And then please do it in your exercise book and share it with me via Telegram channel. Okay. So the sentence we have here, Graham give Fred some cities right by looking at the sentence you can actually identify the verbs give is in past tense so make sure when you want to write the passive sentence you must write in past tense as well for example okay some cities as you can that the word cities uh, are written in plural form so some cities were given were given to Fred by Graham so you know who is the agent the agent is Graham that's why you would buy Graham so some cities were given i repeat some cities were given to Fred by graham so some cities plural that's why you use were instead of was you cannot use are what the are given because the active sentence up there give the word give is written in past tense that's why you cannot use are given. Instead of using are given, you should use were given. So the rest of the sentence, try to do on your own to later share it with me. And another additional exercise for you is rewrite the sentences in the passive voice. So no uh, starting words given here. So you have, uh, you can freely write your own sentences, but make sure it is written in passive 
voice. Okay, example. We bought this car yesterday. The first sentence. We bought this car yesterday. So how you are going to change into passive? It will be like this. Alright. So we put this car okay in front. You identify already what past tense. Katakan what you dalam past tense is to buy is what. So it is past tense. So this car is it in singular or plural? Yes, it is in singular form. So you have to put this car was bought. Alright, this car was bought. Why you are using was? Sebab this car tu singular. Dia berbeza dengan yang tadi. Some cities were. We use were because cities plural. But in this sentence, you can see clearly the word car is plural. Sorry, is singular. So this sent. Sorry, this car was bought by by whom? You cannot uh, put by we. It is incorrect. We. So the correct way is by us yesterday. So this car was bought by us yesterday. That is the example. That is the answer for the first sentence. So we have two, four, six. The rest of the sentences you have to try on your own. And please share it with me and send it to me. So that's the end of our session. Okay, remember to complete the task given and send it to me uh, via your telegram groups, especially for my form 4 students. Form 4.5 students, you shall complete exercise on page 83 and the post activity just now. Snap your picture and send your uh, exercise in my channel or the rest can share it with your English teacher as well. So, thank you for joining the online class today. Hope to see you around soon. Take care and stay safe always.